I did it again. I did it again. Why? Why do I always start my videos like this? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your Ward of the Mitchell Shrine, and today I am ending my career because it is a sad fucking day when me, me, the guy who is constantly talking about how much of a joke Game Press is, is out here defending Game Press. Today we're going to be talking about why I believe Super Vegito does indeed deserve to be S tier and not Z tier. If you have seen, I'm sure you have seen the uh, newest Game Press tier list, a lot of people have been really upset at the fact that Super Vegito is not in the Z tier. People are upset that Super Vegito is at the top of S and not in Z. And I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I do think Vegito deserves to be in the S tier. I don't think he's quite Z tier. And I'm going to explain to you why in this video. This video shouldn't be too long. Um, just me getting my thoughts out there, my opinion on th out there on why I think Vegito is S tier. So, if we take a look at what Vegito wants to do, his best ability by far, because really all Vegito does is a lot of damage, right? Vegito has damage buffs on top of damage buffs on top of damage buffs, a little bit of support in there, and then he's got some card draw speed. And easily his best ability is his card draw speed. He wants to come in, he wants to do long combos, especially after popping his main ability. You pop his main ability the second he comes in, his level 2 card draw speed, you're essentially guaranteed two instances of level 2 card draw speed since it lasts for 30 counts off the main ability, and then he gets 10 counts uh, every time he enters the battlefield. So it's essentially two instances of double card draw speed, and the rest of them is plus one for 10 counts. The biggest issue that Vegito has, however, is the same type of issue that the GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku has. And that's, he has this card draw speed, he wants to combo you for a really long time, but he has no way of maintaining his combos. The one thing that Super Vegito is missing is the ability to nullify special cover change. When your best ability is having card draw speed, when your main function is to do long, high damaging combos, you need the ability to nullify special cover change. Without it, you can't do the one thing that you're built to do. The one thing that he is mainly built to do is do long, high damaging combos, but he can't consistently do them. You either have to deal with the cover change or you have to drop combo, which essentially then gives you a 50-50 chance of either continuing the combo and continuing to utilize your card draw speed or getting perfect vanished because your opponent didn't switch. It's, it's, a, it's gambling at its finest and it's not always the best play. Sometimes you don't want to drop combo. Sometimes you want to just have a unit that can nullify special cover change. Look at the other units that Game Press put in the Z tier. You had Ultra Gogeta, pops a green card, nullifies special cover change. Goku and Vegeta, the Vegeta half, pops a green card, nullifies special cover change. Gogeta 4, pops a green card, nullifies special cover change. The only member of the four Z tier units that does not nullify special cover change is Sword of Hope Trunks, and he brings enough to the table for it not to hurt him as badly. He's got the endurance. That by itself enables him to not, you know, to not be hurt too badly by not nullifying special cover change. Green card refills his whole hands, and using the green card is a very good way of dropping combo. You may, again, you may need to gamble more with Trunks, especially after his unique gauge is full when he gets his card draw speed, but he brings enough to the table for not nullifying special cover change to not hurt him as much. But for the other three units in the Z tier, they all nullify special cover change and they all do it off the green card. So if Super Vegito, I actually, I actually thought Vegito should have had this when he got Zenkai'd. I said, uh, like when we, when we found out that Vegito was going to get Zenkai'd, I said he should nullify special cover change off his green card because he's going to want to be doing a lot of, a, a lot of damage. He's going to want to be using a lot of cards. So he really needed the ability to nullify special cover change in order for me to truly see him as a Z tier unit. He's got the Z tier damage, especially when you pair him up with Bardock, he's got the Z tier damage. 
But when you have other units like Ultra Gogeta who have the card draw speed and the ability to nullify special cover change, you have units like uh, Gogeta 4, once you pop the main ability, he gets his card draw speed, can nullify special cover change. Goku and Vegeta, switch into Vegeta, pop the green card, you've got card draw speed and the ability to nullify special cover change. It's something that is very, very important for units that want to combo you for a long period of time. And I think that's the big thing that hurts Super Vegito and hurts him enough to keep him out of the Z tier. That's just my opinion on the matter. You guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know this is a dark fucking day. My entire career is over after fucking defending Game Press. Goddamn joke of a website. But... This is, this is one instance where I do think Game Press is right for putting Super Vegito in the S tier. And on top of that, on top of everything, Vegito isn't the best unit on any of his teams. None of them. You take a look at the four units they put in the Z tier. Ultra Gogeta, best unit on Fusions, best unit on Super Saiyans, right? Best unit on Movies. Goku and Vegeta, Best unit on Sun Family. Best unit on Vegeta Family. Um, best unit on Mono Purple. Second best on movies. You look at Gogeta 4. Best unit on GT. Um, second best on fusions, probably. Super Vegito, if he had the nullifying the special cover change, he'd be better. But since he doesn't, second best on fusions. Sort of Hope Trunks. He may not have as many teams, but he's best on future. He is the best unit on future. Super Vegito, number two at best Arguably number three on fusions, number two on mono purple, number two on super saiyans. He's number two in all of his teams. Whereas the other Z tier units, they all have at least one team where they are number one. So I think that combined with the fact that he does lack an ability that really hurts him for not having is enough to put Vegito in the S tier. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, do keep in mind, this is just my opinion. I'm not this, this is not me saying Vegito is 100% not Z tier and you're stupid for thinking that he is. No, it's just my opinion. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that join button if you can, it really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below. And I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.